Francesco Molinari has started 2019 the way he finished last year, by winning. His recent Arnold Palmer Invitational victory was the result of more hard work in the off-season, and one key member of his team is performance coach Dave Allred. Molinari credited Allred with playing a pivotal part in his Open win at Carnoustie last year, and Golfing World's Iona Steven has been to meet Dave to see how his work with the Italian can help you with your game. Dave, I've been fortunate enough to do some work with you in the past, and you certainly know how to bring out the best in a player. Can you tell us what makes an effective practice session? Well, I think, I think the first thing is, is to get yourself organised and decide what you're practising and why you're doing it. And I try and divide things up into repair, which is technique, which is really important. But don't expect to practise technique and then win a tournament. And then you have what I call training, which is the old repeat, repeat, repeat. But even then, you should only do sets of five, because in a tournament, it's only one shot. So if you said, well, I'm going to hit 57 irons, I would say, well, if you're going to hit 57 irons, you need to hit 10 sets of five and have a break after five. Because what that does is actually gives you the benefit of repeating the shot. But more importantly, it gives you 10 first shots, the first of five, because it's the first shot that's relevant to the tournament. The, the rest of the shots become less and less relevant. And after five, to be honest, it's actually better to stop and reset. And a lot of people say to me, yeah, but I was just getting going. It's the resetting, which is, if you like, the grinding, frustrating, learning bit. Mm. And it's that that helps you through it. And the last bit is the match. And the match is, is things that a lot of people hide from because they don't want to get frustrated or annoyed in practice. But actually, I think that's the best way to be. Yeah. And if you're edgy and a bit frustrated and a bit jumpy in practice, chances are you're going to have a great round of golf. So with that in mind, what's the one tip you would give to amateur golfers who are restricted with time? Well, I think, let's say if you had 20 minutes, I would say get your body warm before you pick up a club. You use a band or something like that, particularly mo uh, mobility for your hips and your shoulders. Um, give yourself, time yourself, something like seven minutes just to hit, say, seven irons so you get used to hitting the ball. And then after that, set yourself tests and, and make the practice doing a test, which is not comfortable and people don't like it. You know, because they say to me, well, what if I, if I um, mess up my confidence? So, for example, if you want to practice a driver, say, OK, you get five shots, and I want you to make a note of how many out of the five do you get between two flagpoles on the range. And somebody said, well, what if I don't get any? I said, well, tough, get on with it. Mm. Because part of golf is dealing with whatever happens. And if you don't get used to that, then golf's the wrong game. Well, there we have it, one of the best performance coaches in the world who has helped Francesco Molinari to win a major and could equally help you at home. <laughs>